All right, hey, hey, it's Mega here, and I've got a uh, show and tell video for another Suron part, and it's this one right here, all right? It is a counter shaft sprocket, or it's also called a jack shaft sprocket, all right? This is the one that, go, that goes through the wheel, all right? Um, and I got this at warp9racing.com. You can also get it on grit shift. I will put a link in the description where you can get these, all right? I think, uh, yeah, the, the first time I ever bought one of these was at Lunacycle, all right? Lunacycle. I, and it was a takeoff, all right? I, I actually went to Lunacycle, the, their their actual warehouse and stuff, and they, they got me one, all right? And they guaranteed me it would last the life of the bike. I, I, I don't believe them because it looks like the one on this bike needs to be replaced right now, all right? So as you can see, my Suron Light V is in pieces again because I broke it, all right? I broke the swing arm. And, and I had this, all right? I ordered this so I can do a video about it, and I checked the sprocket right there, and it looked like it needs to be replaced, so. We're gonna go ahead and replace it, all right? So so this is one made by Warp9 Racing. Okay, according to the website, it says this is a hardened tool steel for longevity, all right? It's gotta be steel, especially if it's a counter sprocket, all right? The, the rear sprocket is okay if it's aluminum, but the front spins much, much faster than the rear, all right? So it has, it has to be a harder material because it's gotta last longer, all right? It's a black oxide coated, all right? And we'll take a closer look at it in a bit. You can see it's black. It's cool looking, right? Probably won't stay black for a long, <laughs> at least the teeth won't. Uh, there's a 14 tooth stock size and there's a 15 tooth if you want higher speeds, all right? There's a higher speed sprocket. So uh, when you go up a tooth on the, on the front sprocket, it's like going, I believe, three teeth in the rear, all right? So, so it's like you're adding three teeth to the rear. So let's say you're running a 48 right now, it's gonna be more like, Oh, it, excuse me, it, uh, it's like removing three teeth from the rear sprocket, okay? So if you've got the 15 tooth and you're running a 48 tooth right now, your bike is going to run like a 45 tooth sprocket, all right? It's going to be really, it's going to be geared for a higher speed, all right? Um, so be, be careful with that though. Um, it's going to put more strain on your motor if you have wider gearing, okay? Because I want to say. So your chances of burning up your motor are more likely to happen, okay? Um, pick something, the stock gearing is perfectly fine. That's what Hades, Hades Omega runs a little tighter than the stock gearing. But anyway, I, I chose the 14 tooth sprocket, all right? This, that's the stock size sprocket. You can get the 15 if you want, all right? I think it costs a little bit more, all right? I will put a link in the description where you can get these guys, all right? And uh, let's go check a, take a closer look at it. I'm gonna go ahead and install it. I'm not gonna make an install video. I will put the torque spec um, for the bolts on uh, on the description of the video all right if you guys are wondering what it is and uh, and yeah so uh, uh, to install this it requires you to obviously your bike to look like my bike all right <laughs> it's got to have well the swing arm can be there okay but you've got to take the wheel off you've got to take the uh, you got to disconnect the linkage and uh, and you got to take the uh, axle the swing arm axle out all right and then and then you can take this bad boy out. I also have to take my foot pegs off too because I have the brace, so it gets in the way. So, um, but yeah, I have my swing arm off because I'm getting it repaired right now. So it's an opportune moment to install this. All right, let's uh, let's open it up, take a closer look at it, and then I will go ahead and install it on the jack shaft, and then uh, that'll be the end of the video. Okay, since it's black, I will put it. I will use my white stool here. All right, so. This is how I got it from Warp 9, by the way. All right, it's no no fancy packaging or anything. I'm just gonna rip it out of there. No sticker or nothing. <laughs> I think they did give me a pack of stickers with my order though, so. Uh, so yeah, it's nice to know that there are more people you can get this sprocket from now. Um, I'm sure you can probably get these from Lunacycle. I know Grit Shift sells them, but now Warp 9 makes them, all right? So it's it's, the, the more people that make parts, the cheaper, you know, and easier it is to find parts, all right? You have more, you have options, all right? Um, yeah, okay, so there it is. That's the, uh, that's the sprocket. Okay. You can see it says W9. That's the Warp 9 logo right there. Pretty trick. All right, there's a part number on it. It says Sierra dash X-Ray Charlie Sierra 420 dash 14, all right? So what I'm thinking that means, this is a 420 sprocket and it's got 14 teeth on it, okay? And it's for a Suron. I don't know what the XCS means. <laughs> it could mean a, 
segue? I'm not sure. All right, but yeah, this is for a sor this will work on a Soron Light B and a X uh, a Segway X260 or X160. Okay, guys. All right, that's what the back looks like. All right, I think it, it has a nice durable black oxide coating. Um, I'm sure once the once you've used it a bit, the teeth are going to be like just the the steel color. Okay, guys, and it has holes drilled into it. Um, I will I will go take the uh, the stock sprocket out. All right, or actually I have a, spro a sprocket that I bought from Grit Shift. All right, and uh, and we'll take a look at it and compare it to this one. Uh, oh yeah, you know what? I got a stock one. Let me see. Okay, guys. So this I've got uh, one of my older sprockets here, and this is the Warp Nine sprocket. All right, as you can see, it looks almost it's pretty much exactly the same. All right, whether one is stronger than the other, I'm not sure. All right, but they should be both pretty strong. All right, so that's. This is what a stock Saron sprocket looks like versus the Warp 9 one. Okay. 20 bucks, how can you go wrong? It's black, it looks cooler. <laughs> if you don't want a black one, then buy the stock one, all right, guys? Uh, but yeah, it's got the little lip here for the, uh, for the seal, all right, and everything, okay? All right, that's a comparison between the stock sprocket and the Warp 9 sprocket. Obviously, if you get the 15 tooth sprocket, it's gonna have an extra tooth on it, all right? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and install it. I'll show you what it looks like on the jack shaft, and then uh, that'll be the end of the video. All right. All right, there it is installed on the jack shaft. Isn't it pretty looking? I know, the rest of the jack shaft was so dirty. <laughs> hey, this bigger rides his bike hard, man. The last, the last thing we did was uh, we raced the Supermoto race for this. Okay, there was a dirt section. All right, but yeah, there it is. It's there. It installed, installed nicely. There's with the seal and the spacer in there and everything. It looks like it's good to go. All right, so Hayes Mega recommends you put Loctite on these bolts. I put so much Loctite in there, it just it seals itself. But I always put new Loctite. All right, I'm using the purple Loctite. It's like the not very strong one. I, I would use like a blue Loctite. Okay, guys. Um, yeah, always use blue Loctite. Okay, but but purple's what I got, so that's what we're gonna use. All right, so. Um, the torque is, uh, I suggest you use a torque wrench, all right, like this guy right here. Um, I have, uh, I'll put a link in the description if you want to buy one of these guys, all right. You're going to have to buy one of these uh, socket dealies also. Um, and uh, it's a 5 millimeter Allen head bolt. It's either 15 newton meters or 11 foot pounds, all right, guys. So don't get it mixed up, but I, I torqued it to 15 newton meters. All right, and that should be good to go. All right, guys, and okay. that, so that is the show and tell video on the Warp 9 um, counter sprocket, all right? They, this is the, most specifically, this is the 14 tooth counter sprocket. They do sell a 15 tooth. Uh, I don't know anybody else that sells different size, uh, different size sprockets, all right, with different teeth on it, all right? But well, there it is, it fits good. It looks, it looks it's nice and black, <laughs> okay? Probably won't stay black for long, all right? All right, thanks for watching. Uh, you can, uh, you can get these at uh, Grit Shift, all right, or Warp9Racing.com, all right. I will put a link in the description where you can get it, where you can get the tool to torque it, and uh, and yeah. Um, so, if you want to learn how to uh, how to install one of these guys, I will put a link in at the end of the video, all right, in the description of the video. Uh, it helps if you have this tool, all right. I will put a link where you can get one of these guys. Also, this is a Tusk. Um, clutch holding tool all right it's a clutch helper tool all right but it, it helps uh, install this thing all right as you can see it fits perfectly on this it also works with the stock uh, belt also so but uh, this is a uh, dirty bike off-road um, primary drive sprocket is what it is okay and it fits in there perfect all right I hope this was uh, educational and entertaining thanks for watching Hayes McGow